Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. Today's video, as you can see, I'm doing my move out vlog. Oh, I've been waiting for the day that I could say I'm doing my move out vlog. I'm moving out of the free hospital accommodation. I'm so grateful to God. Thank you, Father. So I've unpacked all my stuff over like the last one, two, three days. <laughs> It took me a lot longer than I thought. I just had so much stuff that had accumulated and just junk because I couldn't store anything away. So things were really unorganized, disorganized. Um, but it's all clear and clean and tidy and I can finally bid goodbye to this place. If you're following me on Instagram, then you will already have seen my new flat, which I, I almost still don't believe. It's so, so beautiful, exactly what I wanted, um, what I hoped for, and I'm just gonna enjoy it and not ask questions and just trust god that it all goes well um, i'm really grateful for this place it was really convenient in me settling in being right living on the hospital but i think for the last few months it just has not worked for me at all in fact for the last month i've been living back at home with my parents and like commuting 30 miles a day just a ridiculous commute just so that i could be somewhere that i felt happy and peaceful because this place just wasn't for me um so yeah i'll give you one last look i haven't yet moved my freezer <laughs> my dad couldn't come and help me so i actually don't know how i'm gonna get that downstairs in the lift and in my car but i can do all things through christ who strengthens me so and there's actually still food in there i feel like i should probably take the food out but i don't want to lose it part of me thinks it'll still be frozen by the time i get home who knows anyway my arm's getting tired let me just show you one last look around this glorious place that i've got to call home <laughs> that was there when i got here by the way definitely there when i got here so this has been my room it actually looks quite a bit bigger now that all my stuff isn't in it but it's pretty small a pretty small desk could never fit all my clothes in there it's a blessing but it's also stress little shelf little fire notice oh i'll leave them in a heart shape for the next person the sink which oh should i leave that there i don't want them to tell me off for anything the sink the weird looking mirror i did not clean that well but i kind of don't care anymore um and then my freezer, which I still need to move. So these are the bathrooms. Um, some of the lights don't work. Funnily enough, they've just been cleaned. So I'm going to show you the cleanest version of the bathrooms. So there's not really any like ventilation. There's literally a problem with the vents. So it's constantly boiling hot. Like it's boiling hot in here right now and really humid. Um, so yeah, this is what I've been living in. I never really used this one, apart from when the other one was out of order. I don't think anyone has used that bath in like years, probably. Um, and again, literally just being cleaned. This is the epitome of cleanness. Um, who knows what that rusty thing is and that bottle is. <sighs> who knows what that is. No ventilation. And you can't really see because it's dark, but this has literally just been cleaned and there's all like hair and stuff still stuck on there. Um, that has been here since I moved in. I don't know what's going on with it. Hey, looking cute though. There's the other shower. Again, hot and humid. This pipe burnt me so many times there's like no sign on it but it gets ridiculously hot when the shower is on and it just burns you um, and then there's this my favorite part of the accommodation the surprise opening you go to reach some toilet paper and hello is there a rat we pray that there isn't say hi daddy Daddy's helping me move today. He's got his, yes, yes, dad. He's got his car fully loaded. He can put a lot of stuff in this car, it's sick. And he's been really strong. He's moving all the boxes, haven't you, dad? Do you wanna say hi to hi. YouTube? Thanks for helping me, I really appreciate it. <laughs> How can one person own so much? <laughs> all right, two cars. <laughs> Only two. Expert loading. Mm, I, I am quite good at loading, aren't I, actually? Two hours it took <laughs> to finish. 
<laughs> let's go, let's go, Ruben. And that's my car, all loaded up, ready to go. See it on the road. My car is fully loaded with a lot of stuff. Hey, hey mom. <laughs> I'm oh, actually so gross. I really should have put on some makeup yeah, for this moving too. day vlog. You look nice. You look better than me for this moving day vlog. Are you excited to see my place finally? Yeah, yeah. finally. I've showed them like photos and videos and stuff, but they haven't actually seen it in the flesh, and I think they're gonna love it. And every time you're in there, just remind yourself that there's also a jacuzzi, a steamer, and a pool. Wow. Yes. wow. A sauna, not a steamer. We are not vegetables. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. Move in. Road trip, kind of, half an hour drive. <laughs> this is it, you guys. This is my new place. I'm just gonna move all the boxes in now. Um, there's, I'm just gonna film it for you quickly before I move everything in. There's a spare room. I'm gonna be moving that desk shortly into the main room. There is the landing. This is it, just completely empty before I move all my stuff in. In fact, it's not completely empty because I've already moved that little plant in that wasn't there to begin with. Um, and then here's the main bathroom. Oh, sorry, here's the main bedroom with the bathroom there and the walk-in closet there. Cool, so I'm going to start moving all of my stuff into here. Hey guys, so it is 10 a.m. I've literally just got back from work post night shift. I'm knackered, I wanna sleep, but I also wanna show you guys this place, it's unreal. So last night was a bit rushed, sorry. We had to move everything in, then I had to get to work as soon as possible. And it took forever to move into a flat. Like, it took so long. So right now, I would love to go to sleep. However, I'm too excited, and I have so much stuff to unpack, so I thought, screw it, I'm just gonna show them. I'm gonna show them the flat with my nights, no makeup face. <sighs> Take these off now. Oh, let's go with the flat tour. So I actually want to show you guys what it looks like now so that you'll see what it's like when I've done it up because I am going to be doing a little bit of redecorating. I feel like you have to make a place your own. Um, so this... So this is the living room when you enter it. Sorry about all my boxes. So you've got the big sofa there, and um, that is my own chair that I've brought. It's got the most beautiful little like view of the balcony here. I really feel like I'm gonna take some cool yoga pictures in that space <laughs> and hang something up. It'll be really nice. And there's my little plant. And um, it's got a full-on dining table, which I'm so so excited to be able to host people with. Then here's the kitchen. I'm very excited about this little bar because I'm going to be able to film so many cooking demos for you guys oh thank you Jesus so so much oh I'm so happy and grateful you guys oh my goodness okay and then the kit the fridge look at all that space uh, look at it the oven the microwave it's got a dishwasher washer dryer and I love this little thing here this little rack because I feel like that's going to be cute for deco. I can hang a lot of deco from there and from there. And there's just so much storage. Enough storage for all my protein. Can you imagine? Um, and then, these curtains are going to go, by the way. I'm not the biggest fan of the colour. But I think it is fun and tropical. But I think I'm going to go for a more neutral colour. Um, and then there's the balcony. I um, kind of want the balcony read done to be honest it's a little bit worse for wear um, and it would be nice to have it like the windows cleaned and stuff so I might just ask the landlord about that but hello view um, so yeah that's the view that I get to wake up to look at the little boat over there it's nice and serene as well actually like there's a little road there but it's not too loud which is nice look at all those little birds can you see that Oh, this is so nice. So yeah, I'm currently figuring out what I'm gonna do with this balcony. What I want to do is have kind of like a seating area, like a little cozy seating area with fairy lights, with the little roofs that I can still sit up here when it's like raining, or will I sit up here when it's raining, or have like a little sun cover. But there's plenty of space um, for plants and for seating. Like literally, it's a very large balcony. So yeah, that is that. 
And then out of the living room you have the landing, which again, I'm sorry, is totally full of all my stuff. And after I moved in, I realised I didn't have my scrubs to put on for tonight, so I had to unpack partially all my stuff. So it's a hot mess right now, but it's a nice, spacious landing, actually. I think that makes a big difference. It really makes it feel so much more homely having this nice, uh, uh, like, entrance area. I do want a coat rack. I want a coat rack somewhere. I might put one up on the wall. Um, but we do have a shoe rack, which is awesome, and this nice little decor table here, um, so I can put some nice little ornaments on there and then I'm going to show you the spare bedroom so this is the spare bedroom they used to use it the people who lived here last used it as an office that's why the desk is in there quite inconveniently but I want it as a spare bedroom because I really want my family to be able to come and visit and just be comfortable and yeah just love spending time with me and my friends and stuff and I love I'm such a chronic host you guys so I love having people around for dinner I love hosting stuff it's like a fave of mine but yeah it's got really good storage and I'm gonna try and keep that free so that it can be genuine storage for when people come round and they can just feel completely at home when they visit I'll be moving that desk out of here and oh yeah crap I need to get an office chair um so yeah it's a nice little there's a nice little decorative ornament thing there as well which I think I might get some stuff to put inside um I have no idea what actually maybe I should move that I feel like I should move that to the living room oh no it's stuck to the wall that's why we can't move it it's stuck to the wall I'm not about to unstick anything and then if we come back through the landing and jump over my stuff we have the main bathroom main bathroom I don't know the bathroom oh whoops there's the light um pretty standard what I didn't realize is that there's no shower on it which is really annoying actually. I didn't realise how annoying that was. If there's a guest here and they want a shower, they're gonna have to use my own suite, which to be honest, it's kind of annoying because like, what if my room's a mess? But yeah, ha, oh, little towel rack. Um, and I need to kit this out as well. Oh, I can't stop smiling, you guys. Um, and then if you come through here, I'm not even sleepy anymore. Come through to the main bedroom. And this is the main bedroom. <laughs> Lol. So, sorry, I started to move the bed. Then I was like, I should really film how it looks before I redo it. So this bed was against the wall here. And I'm in the process of moving it over there. I've put in that mirror curtains they changed for me because they wanted to take the other ones which I'm kind of glad about because I prefer this more neutral colour um, and it's really spacey actually you can't tell because the bed is like right in the middle at the moment but it is very spacey and I'm going to move that desk in here um, and then here's the bathroom so this one has a shower um, and this is basically just the ensuite bathroom and then quite possibly my favourite part is my wardrobe so this is my wardrobe you guys and it has a light and in fact, I think I might get a mirror for here as well, because I think that would be quite fun. Wait, I say it has a light. Yeah, it does have a light. So yeah, um, just so much space. This wardrobe is like the size of my old room. Literally, it's so big. There's so much space. Look at this. Look at this. Amazing. So many clothes, this is gonna be perfect for storing all my stuff in. I'm so grateful. Okay, so that is what it looks like now. Right now, I think I'm honestly gonna go home and see how much stuff I can steal from my parents' house. <laughs> so I love my parents so much. They always have lots of spare stuff. So obviously we don't have a TV here. My parents actually have a spare TV. Who who has a spare TV? But they, well, it's not spare. They're kind of giving it up from a spare room, but no one really uses that TV in that room anyway. Um, but yeah, my parents are lending me that. So I'm really grateful to them. And I also kind of need an office chair and just some general stuff that I feel like they probably forgot that they have like you know towels and cutlery and stuff like I'm a grown-up but I keep having to remind my dad that you don't just give birth to a child and then like buy then for yourself like I'm still your child just kidding I'm not gonna steal their cutlery maybe they do have too much cutlery in the cutlery drawer is it wrong to take your parents cutlery let me know I mean I'm grown but like I'm still your child I'm a child of the most high Hey guys, how's it going? I'm day one post nights, which means I finished my night shift and I literally didn't sleep all day. Um, I've been decorating, I've been shopping, and I thought I would just bring you guys back in to see how I've progressed so far. The floor's just really like, not the best kept. Um, I think they have plants here. So it's all kind of dirty and just not particularly joyous. Um, I really would like to sort that all out. However, I have absolutely no idea how to sort that out. I don't know how to do a balcony. Like, why is that? Why is that coming up? Why is that coming up? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's my job for today. Right, 
I'm sorry, but can someone give me one good reason why these instructions have to be in hieroglyphics? Ridiculous. This is ridiculous and I'm not enjoying it. I'm not enjoying putting furniture together. This is what dads are for. I don't know where mine is right now. I'm feeling very let down.